climate change, climate change is real. Is real. Climate change or global warming is the average rise in temperature of the planet Earth. Climate change is caused by anthropogenic activities such as mass industrial processes which release greenhouse gases, ultimately heating our planet. Climate change has resulted in sea level rise, eroding coastal regions. Approximately 50% of the global population lives near coastal lines. Natural buffers such as wetlands and coastal forests have been destroyed in order to make way for industry as to boost economic activities. Natural buffers protect coastal regions from the harsh effects of climate change. The Republic of Cuba Cuba is the largest island in the northern Caribbean Sea. Cuba boasts a population of 11 million inhabitants and the president, and the president is Raul Castro. Havana Havana is the largest city in Cuba. Havana is, on the, is a coastal city in Cuba and is also the country's capital. Since 1959, the Cuban government has addressed issues of underdevelopment with social justice, equity, and clear goals in achieving sustainability. The political will of the state has enabled a combination of economic, deve economic development and environmental protection strategies towards achieving sustainable development. In 1991, the Cuban Academy of Science organized a national commission for studies about climate change. The commission identified sea level rise and increase in temperature and extreme hydro hydrometeorological events, including changes in precipitation, as the three main effects of climate change on Havana and Cuba. Cuba officials have developed a strategy of adaptation towards the harsh effects of climate change. It's a strategy of resilience. The basis involves sector strategies in order to address vulnerability. The Notre Dame Gain Index ranks countries on their vulnerability and readiness towards climate change. The ND Gain ranks Cuba as the 90th least vulnerable country and the 55th least ready country to battle climate change. Cuba's vulnerability score is 0.24. The graph suggests an increase in vulnerability, while suggesting post-2010 Cuba started to steady and ensure a defense against the harmful effects of climate change. Indy Gain's vulnerability analysis of freshwater supplies is done by factoring in projected change in annual runoff, groundwater recharge, freshwater withdrawal, dam capacity, water dependency, and other aspects. The graph suggests Cuba's water supply has become increasingly vulnerable to climate change. In the end's capture of Cuba's vulnerability to food in terms of food production, demand, nutrition, and the rural population, the food vulnerability score includes factors of projected cereal hills, population growth, food import dependency, etc. Ecosystem Services The vulnerability analysis is attained through Cuba's natural capital and ecological resources, which is used to sustain human beings. Factors include predicted change in biome distribution and marine biodiversity, the dependency on natural capital, the country's ecological footprint, protected areas, and last, but not least, the most important aspect is the country's active engagement in at international forums on the effects of climate change, such as COP21. Human habitat. The human habitat takes into account the vulnerability of human living conditions. It considers extreme weather, urban development, demography, 
and transfer infrastructure as part of its vulnerability analysis. The vulnerability analysis includes predicted change in heat wave and flood hazards, urban concentration, the quality of transport and trade infrastructure, and includes whether or not the roads are paved. The graph suggests an increase in vulnerability of human habitat in Cuba. The next component of ND Game Vulnerability Analysis of Cuba is health. The score is measured in terms of Cuba's public health system, the spread of diseases such as influenza, and access to healthcare services. The vulnerability analysis predicts change of death from climate change induced diseases such as diarrhea and malnutrition. The change in the malaria acid that has become more prevalent has decreased over time. Whether, the cu- cu- whether Cuba is dependent on an external on external resources for healthcare services, Cuba's rural population, the availability of medical staff, and whether Cubans have access to sanitation facilities. Cuba's vulnerability analysis of health graph suggests that their vulnerability has increased over time. The graph suggests this by the state of declining score from 1985 to 2010. Final component of ND gains vulnerability analysis of Cuba is infrastructure. ND gain scores Cuba based on the country's vulnerability of its coastal regions such as Havana and the and the energy infrastructure, whether it is vulnerable to climate change. Infrastructure is the general preparedness to climate change. Uh, general preparedness could include things like natural disasters, coastal hazards, and challenges regarding the energy supply. Indicators in this analysis include hydropower generation capacity, the projected sea level rise, the dependency of imported energy, the whether or not the general public has access to energy and the percentage of the population in climate is below sea level. According to the graph, Cuba suffered an increase in vulnerability between 1985 and 2003. However, Cuba has become generally less vulnerable to climate change in the early 2000s. In order to decrease the vulnerability levels in Havana, Cuba, Cuban authorities have implemented programs such as the Energy Revolution in order to reduce carbon emissions. Two main components of the Energy Revolution include energy efficiency and energy saving, and use and development of renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and hydropower. Cuba aims to achieve these goals through international cooperation and collaboration. Cuba has aimed to enhance their biomass with its reforestation program. Cuba has increased its national forestry by 11.3% from 1959 to 2007. Cuba has put in place economic regulations in order to remedy the effects of climate change. The Cuban government imports machinery and equipment to aid in advancements of waste treatment technology. Environmental proje- projects are being supported by the National Environmental Fund. The NEF includes partici- participation from the community, uh, services, and funding for environmentally linked studies. In regions such as Havana, Adaptation to climate change occurs in sectors such as agriculture and tourism. Adaptation methods in agriculture include soil protection, selection of climb of animals and plant species to resist drought and high temperature, urban agriculture, diversification, and waste reuses, to name a few. Sectoral adaptation includes buildings in Cuba, such as uh, cleaner bu- building practices, uh, new designs for sustainable development and adjustment of building projects in, in order to consider territorial risk studies. Climate change is real. Climate change is caused by human activity. <laughs>